Hello all and welcome in this technical video. In this video, I will show you how you can use Awingu to connect to your physical desktops in the office. In this scenario, I have already deployed an uh, Awingu appliance and I will show you how you can map for each user his own desktop so that in case that somebody needs to work from home, he can take over his desktop at the office. Before I start, you don't need to install anything on the desktop PCs. Awingu can and will always use standard protocols, so in this case RDP. So the only thing you need to make sure is that that user is allowed to RDP to his own machine so that uh, on the security settings of that desktop, it's allowed to connect with non-admin users uh, in this specific case that that user can log in to his own machine. I will show you two ways of doing this. The first time I will just show you how you can do this manually. So adding one user and adding one desktop and linking them together. And then in the second example, I will show you how you can use one of the scripts we have prepared in a report where you can just do like a mass import. So imagine that you have to do like hundreds of users. Uh, we have made a script that can do that very easy for you and link each user with his own PC. So let me start with uh, showing how to add uh, one user. Um, the first thing I need to do is I need to import the users itself. So for the moment, um, Awingu doesn't know each user. So I have to add a user label for that uh, specific user. So if I go to manage labels, uh, there is a possibility to import users from Active Directory. So when I hit import from Active Directory, I will see all my users and I can select the user I, that I want to, uh, to link to his desktop. So for this first case, I will do it manually. I will just import Mary, but uh, you can, of course, import many users at the same time if you uh, if you want. So let me uh, import Mary. And the second thing I need to do is I need to uh, add Mary's desktop to the list of application servers. So to do that, I'm going to manage application servers. And again, I'm going to click on import from uh, Active Directory. It will give me a list of all the computers which are part of the domain. And actually, Mary's computer is this PC number zero. So again, I'm selecting it. Uh, I'm going to enable it. And as this is a Windows uh, 10 machine, there can only be one user connected at the same time. So the maximum number of connections is, again, one. If you're planning on doing this manually, then I would recommend that you not only import that PC from Mary, but that you import, like with users, many PCs at the same, uh, same time. Uh, but as, as of now, I will just do it for one user, click on import. So now I have the PC of Mary in my configuration. And actually, the last step, what I need to do is I need to link Mary to her computer. So I can do that in the applications. And then uh, I'm going to add, in this case, a remote desktop, so a desktop application. It's asking for a name, so I could call this the PC of, uh, of Mary. Uh, need to take an icon. So in this case, I'm just going to take this icon. Uh, and then I need to specify who can connect to this PC. So in this case, it's, uh, it's Mary, and she can connect to which PC? She can connect to her own PC like this. So if I click on Add, you will see that I've added an application, and that normally, if I would know, uh, go uh, and log in as Mary. So let me just start a new session. I'm going to open it. I'm going to log in as Mary, Mary's password. And as you can see, Mary has like one application, which is her PC, and if she clicks on it, it will make a connection and it will allow Mary to take over her uh, PC. Um, maybe one little thing. This is the Awingu polygon. If this would be in the way of the end user, she can uh, remove it here in the uh, sidebar and do height uh, polygon. So this was how you could add one single user manually, but imagine that you would have to do this with like hundred, uh, hundreds of users. We have developed at uh, Awingu support a script for uh, using the API to, uh, to facilitate that mass import. So the script itself is available uh, on the link uh, below, below this video. There is a, there is a link to, uh, to the script. As you can see, it's a simple PowerShell script. Uh, and what I have done is I have prepared like a CSV file uh, with uh, user and computer to two lines and every time the user and the computer he or she can uh, can take over so i have lucas who connects to pc1 i have james that connects to pc3 and i have linda who can connect to pc3 so that's uh, one little file i have prepared uh, this is now with three entries but it could be with uh, with hundreds of users that's no problem and then uh, once you start the uh, script we have provided uh, you will see that it will ask you for a few simple questions so first of all it will ask for the location of the script so 
let me uh, copy and paste my location of my script like this it will ask for the uh, awingu uh, domain so in this case it's my domain is called company and then the last thing it will ask for is the api token so if you don't have an api token yet um, log in as an administrator into awingu go to your account settings and at the bottom there is a possibility to uh, manage the api token type in your admin password click on generate token and it will give you your uh, awingu token uh, once you have the token you can uh, you can co you can uh, copy it and you can start using it in script so this is my token for my uh, test environment if i copy the token in here click on enter um, the last thing it will ask is the awingu url so in my case this is https work from home dot das dot com click on enter um, and as you will see the import is finished if i would go to my uh, system settings so let me go to the system settings again uh, go to the um, labels you will see that the labels are there automatically for uh, linda james lucas and mary and you would also see in the application servers that everything is there and you will also see that in the applications for each user there is a separate desktop uh, created. Um, one of the questions we uh, also get a lot is, uh, how can I protect this uh, access? Because now, as you have seen before, Mary can connect just with a simple username and, and password. Uh, Awingu has built an MFA. So uh, if you want to enable the MFA, it's quite uh, simple. Go to the system settings, go to configure user connector and uh, enable the multi-factor authentication. There is a built-in one in Awingu, so if I just take that uh, time-based uh, one-time password functionality, click on apply, you will see that um, as soon as this is uh, enabled, if I would log in again to the Awingu appliance, it will ask uh, to set an uh, MFA password. And I have uh, secure access to my desktops in the office uh, with uh, only a web browser, your username, password, and uh, protected with extra MFA capabilities.